Hey guys, it's Rich Boy Jay here back again with another video and this is going to be another installment of collecting every LEGO Star Wars minifigure ever made. So last time you guys saw it, I basically left off at about here where Ayla Secura is and I had no figures placed after that. But now I'm excited to say I have finally officially finished uh, phase one of this minifig collection process. If you guys aren't familiar, phase one was essentially just me going through my collection of figures and placing them on this wall. So I basically made it all the way up into the recent solo sets, which is that, I think, Kessel Operations Droid. Unfortunately, right now, there is no place uh, for me to put the minifigures that come with the UCS Y-Wing. Looks like Brickset just doesn't have that cataloged yet, so eventually I'm sure that'll come somewhere after this. But this is pretty much for all the figures I have as far as I can go. So that's pretty exciting news. Phase 2 is actually going to be me going through my boxed collection and getting all the figures out. So sets that I haven't yet opened or um, figures that just may be hidden somewhere in my collection. That's what I'm going to be looking for next. It'll be pretty exciting because a lot of these sets I have been wanting to build. So maybe that'll kind of motivate me to actually get into some of those sets and then actually get them built and put into my actual built collection. One of the other things I did, a did do is I kind of got into... Phase 2, and I actually purchased a rather rare minifigure right here. You can see this is Darth Malgus from that Sith Fury class. I think it's an Interceptor, or I think it's Interceptor. Maybe it's Infiltrator. I don't know. One of those. One of those words, this is what that figure comes from. It's a pretty rare figure. I found a decent price for it on eBay. Went ahead and picked that up to kind of give me, myself a head start on Phase 3, which is just going to be me actually buying minifigures and just filling out the stuff that I don't already have. So... That's really going to finish this one up. I know it's a rather short update, but super excited to finally have all the figures placed. Some of these are in mocks right now, so you'll see Tally's helmet is sitting right there. So a lot of those Last Jedi figures are currently in the crate mock. Those will end up getting placed back here whenever we finish the crate. But all in all, a lot of these figures, you can just see, like, there's quite a few blank spots. And then it gets, like, really full in, like, the 2005 area when I really went hardcore into collecting like whenever those first uh clone troopers first came out the first phase two ones then throughout my dark ages there's some more blank spots and then once you get into like 2013 and forward there's just so many figures and so many of them that i have so it's pretty cool to just kind of step back and once again just see the evolution of lego star wars many figures going all the way from 1999 to now one of the things i'm concerned about is just the frequency at which they're putting out brand new minifigures, like, it, it's honestly pretty shocking. I thought I left myself enough room. I think I left myself enough space to put at least 100 or 200 new minifigures, and I thought that'd be enough to last me a few years, but at the rate that they're putting out these minifigures now, I don't think that's going to be the case. I'm probably end up gonna, gonna end up having to, like, start a new minifig wall on this side, which I didn't really want to do because I would like to just kind of keep everything all in one area but um, I may do that, or I may just add another, like, row of base plates below those. I think that'd probably be the best-looking option, just to keep all of them in one place for at least some time to come. So we'll see how that goes. But that's pretty much going to finish up the update, guys. It's, I know it's a quick one, but I'm pretty excited to say finally got, you know, all of Phase 1 pretty much done, absent the figures that are in mocks or something like that. And now I can actually move on to unboxing some of my box collection. So... Maybe I'll show you guys a little bit of that, show you some of the sets that I haven't yet opened, and I'm sure there'll be some pretty cool surprises there. So, like I always say, guys, if you like what I do, go ahead and support the channel by hitting the subscribe button, support the video by hitting the like button, and I will be back again very soon. Thanks for watching, guys.